Millions of Americans recognize that dogs are wonderful companions and they bring their favorite furry friends along on road trips, day trips, and even day-to-day -day errands. However, in the vehicle, this can mean added distractions for the driver, especially when drivers engage in behaviors such as allowing their dog to sit on their lap or petting and playing with their dog when behind the wheel. The AAA Foundation for Traffic Safety found that looking away from the road, even for only two seconds, doubles your risk for being in a crash. Restraining your pet while riding together in a vehicle will not only help reduce distractions, but also help protect your pet and other passengers in your vehicle as well. There are simple steps you can take to make your travels phyto-friendly. An unrestrained nine pound dog in a 50 mile crash will exert roughly 450 pounds of pressure, where a 90 pound dog in only a 30 mile an hour crash would exert 2,700 pounds of pressure. Imagine the devastation that that could cause for anyone in the vehicle. A variety of easy to use and affordable products are available to help dog owners reduce distractions while driving. One of the easiest and most universal is a harness that utilizes your vehicle's seatbelt, anchors, or a zip line. Make sure the safety harness you use is made for vehicle use and has a broad padded chest plate for protection and your pet's comfort and a way to connect to the vehicle. This cargo harness is a good example. Using a harness allows your pet to enter the car on their own, which is an advantage for people with larger dogs. When using a harness, you should never put your pet in the front seat. Insert the seatbelt through the loop attached to the harness and you're ready to go. Other harnesses may connect to the lower anchor or they can be inserted directly into the seatbelt. If you have a smaller dog, you can also consider a pet booster seat. A booster seat is tethered to the car's seat and allows smaller dogs to see out of the window. Your pet safety harness connects to the tether. Another option is a pet crate, but remember, for your pet safety and the safety of all passengers, crates should always be secured in position. There are also barrier systems such as this that will combine your pet to the rear cargo area of your vehicle and help minimize distractions to the driver. A backseat barrier such as this will also keep dogs from jumping up into the front seat and distracting you. However, in the event of a crash or a sudden stop, there's still a large space in which your pet can be thrown. A barrier system should be combined with a safety crate or harness to limit your dog's movement and reduce the risk of injury from your pet being thrown against a hard surface in your vehicle. The annual AAA Cargo Survey found that 80% of drivers who travel with their pet in the vehicle do not use a pet restraint system. However, keep in mind that using a pet restraint system not only helps minimize distractions, it also improves the safety of your pet and allows EMS personnel quick access to your vehicle in the event of a crash. Plus, it can stop your dog from running away if there's a crash and stop your dog from jumping out of the window at a stoplight. Therefore, AAA recommends using a pet restraint system every time you travel to keep all of the passengers safe in your vehicle, including the furry ones.